We are back on uh, Arch Merge i3. Polybar is still active, as you can see at the top here. And we're going to show you um, how to improve Atom 1 and what's inside this polybar. So it's a an, an general overview and getting setting everything up to work easily with our files. Okay. Um, normally, Atom will reboot, uh, will start when... Uh, i3 starts but if it's not so super shift d is our menu and you just start typing atom and then you get this application now we have already uh, this is a fourth uh, tutorial about polybars we've already done some stuff and you see already here at the left side a folder i3 so i went into the dot config and i told to the machine to this i3 folder i said config right mouse click open with open with another application check atom check this here open and that's the result you get not only one file so config file but everything the folder i3 is here just go ahead and start comparing and looking at all these things that are in there quite easy you can make it big uh, a little bit bigger with control and then scroll and you can read along Let's activate the screen key again. So, what are we missing? Well, with, this is a tutorial about Polybar, meaning you go up here and in here we have to talk about this. Now, right mouse click, open with Sublime Text, wrong. Open with, other application, Atom, always, okay. So now it's open in here. But we don't want to open just one file, we'll open everything how can we do this we can open file add project folder and then go inside the dot config and then go to polybar and say add that folder as well so we have now the folder ready to um, to check out and to discuss about all these things some of the things are colored already as you can see some of them are not um, about that let's make atom even better let's install packages so install packages and themes to to remember pigments and minimap and then just start clicking when they pop up install 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 and that's probably enough what we just wanted to say if there are dependencies then you say just yes and then the dependencies will be installed as well and that's it Things have changed, you don't see it yet, but things uh, will be changed later on when we start editing everything. So, that's ready. Uh, how about these polybar things? So, we have this folder. Polybar is launched with this file, launch sh. This is the launch from polybar. Then it's going to read the configuration file and see what's in those, I think, 1,400, 600 lines, something like that. And some of the things, and that's one of the rules, um, that is if I rather have it, well, two rules. One rule, if there is an application that has an icon, keep the icon. System icons like variety, like sound, like network manager, like PAMEC, things like that, caffeine, they have an icon. So we're not making an, a new icon for it. You can do that and that's fine, but we'll not make them standard. One, two, if we can avoid making a script, then we'll do that. If it's if it can be written in one line, in one sentence of long sentence of script, that's great. If it's not possible, then it will be moved to a script. So that's in here and we can um, follow those there. So that's the basics, a launching configuration file. And if we can't put the script in one line, it's gonna be put in a folder and there the scripts will be started, okay? If we take a look in the launch file, then we'll discuss what happens here in detail and that will be for another tutorial.